In mathematics, the riesz fischer theorem in real analysis is any of a number of closely related results concerning the properties of the space L2 of square integrable functions. The theorem was proven independently in 1907 by Frigge's Riesz and Ernst Sigismund Fischer. For many authors, the riesz fischer theorem refers to the fact that the LP spaces from Lebesgue integration theory are complete. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern forms of the theorem. The most common form of the theorem states that a measurable function on pi, pi is square integrable if and only if the corresponding Fourier series converges in the space L2. This means that if the north partial sum of the Fourier series corresponding to a square integrable function f is given by s n f x equals n equals minus n n f n e i n x Display style s underscore n f x equals sum underscore n equals n carrot n f underscore n mathrm e carrot i n x, where f n the n t h Fourier coefficient is given by f n equals one two pi minus Pi Pi F X E minus I N X D X Display style f underscore n equals frac one two pi int underscore pi carrot pi f x mathrm e carrot i n x mathrm d x. Then lim n infinity s n f minus f two equals zero. Display style lim underscore n two inf t left vert s underscore n f f right underscore two equals zero, where two display style c d o t underscore two is the L two norm. Conversely, if a n display style a underscore n is a two-sided sequence of complex numbers, that is, its indices range from negative infinity to positive infinity, such that n equals minus infinity infinity a n two infinity display style sum underscore n equals inf t caret inf t left a underscore n right vert caret two, then there exists a function f such that f is square integral and the values a n display style or underscore n are the Fourier coefficients of f. This form of the riesz fischer theorem is a stronger form of Bessel's inequality and can be used to prove Parseval's identity for Fourier series. Other results are often called the riesz fischer theorem, Dunford and Schwartz, 1958, section IV.16. Among them is the theorem that, if A is an orthonormal set in a Hilbert space H, and X element of H, then X Y equals zero Displaystyle Langle X, Y Wrangle equals zero for all but countably many Y element of A, and Y element of X Y two X two Display style sum underscore Y in A Langle X Y Wrangle carrot two LEQ X carrot two Furthermore, if A is an orthonormal basis for H and X an arbitrary vector, the series 
y element of a x y y display style sum underscore y in a langle x y wrangle y converges commutatively or unconditionally to x this is equivalent to saying that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a finite set B O in A such that x minus y element of B x y y epsilon display style x sum underscore y in B langle x y wrangle y for every finite set B containing B O. Moreover, the following conditions on the set A are equivalent. The set A is an orthonormal basis of H for every vector x element of H, x2 equals y element of A, x, y, 2, display style, x, carrot 2 equals sum underscore y in A, Langle x, y, wrangle, carrot 2. Another result, which also sometimes bears the name of Riesz and Fisher, is the theorem that L2 or more generally L P zero. Topic Example The Riesz Fischer theorem also applies in a more general setting. Let R be an inner product space consisting of functions, for example, measurable functions on the line, analytic functions in the unit disk, in old literature, sometimes called Euclidean space, and let phi n display style phi underscore n be an orthonormal system in R, e.g. Fourier basis, Hermite or Laguerre polynomials, etc. See orthogonal polynomials, not necessarily complete in an inner product space. An orthonormal set is complete if no non-zero vector is orthogonal to every vector in the set. The theorem asserts that if the normed space R is complete, thus R is a Hilbert space, then any sequence C n display style c underscore n that has finite two norm defines a function f in the space r the function f is defined by f equals lim n infinity k equals 0 n C K Phi K Display style F equals Lim underscore N to inf T sum underscore K equals zero carrot N C underscore K Vafi underscore K Limit in R norm Combined with the Bessel's inequality, we know the converse as well. If f is a function in R, then the Fourier coefficients f phi n display style f phi underscore n have finite two norm. Topic. History, the note of Riesz and the note of Fischer In his note, Riesz states the following result translated here to modern language at one point, the notation L2 a, B was not used in 1907. Let phi n be an orthonormal system in L2 a, B, and an a sequence of reals. The convergence of the series a n 2 display style summer underscore n caret 2 is a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a function f such that a b f x phi n x d x equals a n 
display style int underscore a carrot b f x varphi underscore n x mathrm d x equals or underscore n for every n today, this result of Riesz is a special case of basic facts about series of orthogonal vectors in Hilbert spaces. Riesz's note appeared in March. In May, Fisher, 1907, p. 1023, states explicitly in a theorem, almost with modern words, that a Cauchy sequence in L2 a b converges in L2 norm to some function f in L2 a b. In this note, Cauchy sequences are called sequences converging in the mean, and L2 a, b is denoted by omega. Also, convergence to a limit in L2 norm is called convergence in the mean towards a function. Here is the statement, translated from French. Theorem if a sequence of functions belonging to omega converges in the mean, there exists in omega a function f towards which the sequence converges in the mean. Fisher goes on proving the preceding result of Riesz, as a consequence of the orthogonality of the system, and of the completeness of L2. Fisher's proof of completeness is somewhat indirect. It uses the fact that the indefinite integrals of the functions g n in the given Cauchy sequence, namely g n x equals a x g n t d t Display style g underscore n x equals int underscore a carrot x g underscore n t mathrm d t converge uniformly on a b to some function g continuous with bounded variation. The existence of the limit g element of L two for the Cauchy sequence is obtained by applying to g differentiation theorems from Lebesgue's theory. Riesz uses a similar reasoning in his note, but makes no explicit mention to the completeness of L2, although his result may be interpreted this way. He says that integrating term by term a trigonometric series with given square summable coefficients, he gets a series converging uniformly to a continuous function f with bounded variation. The derivative f of f, defined almost everywhere, is square summable and has for Fourier coefficients the given coefficients. Topic completeness of LP, 0 The proof that LP is complete is based on the convergence theorems for the Lebesgue integral. When 1 p infinity, the Minkowski inequality implies that the space LP is a normed space. In order to prove that LP is complete, i.e. that LP is a Banach space, it is enough CEG. Banach space hashtag definition to prove that every series un of functions in LP mu such that u n p infinity display style sum u underscore n underscore p converges in the LP norm to some function f element of LP mu. For p n equals zero infinity, u n p d mu n equals zero infinity, u n p p infinity. Hence, f equals n equals zero infinity, u n display style int b i g l sum underscore n equals zero caret inf t u underscore n big R caret p mathrm d mu l e q b i g l sum underscore n equals zero caret inf t u underscore n Underscore p big R carrot p is defined mu almost everywhere and f element of L p mu. The dominated convergence theorem is then used to prove that the partial sums of the series converge to f in the L p norm f minus k equals zero and u k p d mu greater than n u p d mu zero as n infinity display style int left f sum underscore k equals zero caret n u underscore k right caret p mathrm d mu l e q int left sum underscore l greater than 
Hyphen N, U underscore L, right, carrot, P, Mathram, D, mu, right arrow zero, text as N, right arrow, inf T, the case zero. One starts with the stronger assumption that U N P P infinity, display style, sum, U underscore N, underscore, P, carrot, P, and uses repeatedly that K equals zero N U K, P K equals zero N, U K, P when P one, display style, left, sum underscore, K equals zero, carrot, N, U underscore, K, right, carrot, P, L E Q, sum underscore, K equals zero, carrot, N, U underscore K carrot P text when P the case P equals infinity reduces to a simple question about uniform convergence outside a mu negligible set. <laughs>